back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and in the search bar search for the api open this thing in new tab click on this enable api here just search for the dialog flow open this thing click on this and simply click on this enable api it is going to take a couple of seconds so just wait for that come on the task number two open this link in the incognito window now just wait here you will get one pop-up okay so this time i didn't get any pop-up but sometime you will get the terms of service pop-up that time you have to just click on that checkbox and accept now we have to just create one create agent now for the agent name copy this name carefully paste over here then for the time zone scroll up and just search for the gmt minus 7 america denver this one click on this now from here choose your project id like this and simply click on create so it is going to take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and it's working and it's done now click on this uh, gear icon click on this import now here what you have to do just first of all just click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now copy this thing open new tab in incognito window and just paste that link which you copy from here so in your system one zip file will be downloaded automatically now click on this import from zip select that file which is pigeon travel so just click on that and click on open now here just type import i m p o r t in capital words and simply click on import so it will be done here you can see okay click on done now if you just scroll down and click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number four in the database if you want you can just simply close this api service tab now here just search for the fire store open this thing in new tab just wait for a second click on this select native mode from here choose the num5 and simply click on create database just wait for a second it will be done in now if you just scroll down we have to just create one collection so as you can see it's still creating so just wait for that let me just click on this cross option okay so it's done it will reload the page now click on this start collection now for the collection id copy this thing paste over here for the document id type 100 for the field name just copy this carefully paste then copy this field value and paste then click on this add field scroll down copy the field name paste field value and paste like this now for the again click on this add field copy this name and paste as you can see it's done now simply click on save so you are done with the task number four also now what we have to do go back to your dialog flow click on this fulfillment okay then click on this enable option and simply click on deploy now it is going to take a couple of minutes so meanwhile what you can do just search for the copy this name go to the my telegram channel and here in the search bar search for the name of the lab so here you can see one zip file over here which uh, this file you have to download to your system why if you just scroll down okay here we have to just modify that index.json file and pack, uh, package.json and uh, i think some of my uh, some of you might uh, make a mistake while editing this file so that's why i already create that file here you can see function.zip so the unzip this file okay and here you can see there are two files called index.js and package.json okay so once this thing is deployed we have to just upload this files i will tell you how to do that so just wait until this thing is completed
so it's deployed successfully now if you just come over here and click on this check my progress for the setup fulfillment using cloud function you can see you got a green tick now here we have to just modify that index.json so what you have to do just go here open this index.json copy all this content okay copy all this content and here just make the changes like this okay now click on this packet.json come over here copy all this content okay copy make sure you copy all this thing carefully like this make the changes over here like this okay now simply click on deploy now it's it's going to take a couple of minutes more so just be patient and you can just close these two files okay so we have done all these modifications okay now we have to just pay attention for the ta point number 12 13 and 14 15 i will tell you what we have to do just wait until this get deployed So it's deployed successfully as you can see now click on this okay now please pay attention guys this part is little bit tricky now click on this intents now click on this uh, here you can see the down arrow just from the name dot reservation click on this down arrow then click on this now it's the scroll down at bottom from here you can just uh, cross verify the name click on this down arrow of the fulfillment and enable this okay simply click on save okay so you are done with that now please pay attention first of all just copy this thing okay and paste over here like this hit enter okay now here sure i can say can you please tell me your first name so just type kelly k e w l y okay now it is asking what is your reservation number so just type 100 and hit enter again it is asking what is your new name for the reservation again type kelly so just follow this thing do not try to make any modifications okay just wait until this thing is loaded as you can see thank you kelly you have changed the name on the reservation number 100 to kelly now if you just come over here in the fire store click on this refresh option just wait for a second and in the new name the name is kelly once you get this kind of output and if you just scroll down and click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys